Hello and welcome. Today we'll be doing the following problem. Find the area of the square. So as we can see, we have a square here. Let's call our square A, B, C, D. And in our square, we have three segments. Let's say segment B, E, along with segments A, F, and B, F. And segment B, E, and A, F intersect at point G. Now, the information that we have, well, we have the area of this triangle here, triangle BFG, and that area would be 30 square units. We also have the area of triangle AEG, and its area would be 10 square units. Along with that, we also have the length of segment DE, which is 4 units. Now, since we want to find the area of the square, If we were able to find its side length, then all we need to do is square that number and we have it's the area of our square. So we'll denote S to be the side length of our square. Now let's take a closer look at this triangle that is in our square, this white triangle here, ABG. Now this triangle is of interest of us because we can combine this triangle along with triangle BFG to form another triangle ABF. And this triangle would have the side length of the square as its base. Similarly, we can also do the same with triangle AEG. That is, combine it with triangle ABG to form another triangle ABE that also has the side length of the square as its base. So first, what we need to do, we're going to denote A to be the area of triangle a, B, G, and we will build a system of equations. So the first triangle will work. We'll work with triangle A, B, E first. That is this triangle, all of this right here. So this triangle, if we let S be the base of our triangle, well, then its height would be represented by segment A, E, and we can say that its height would be equal to s, the side length for our square, minus 4. So the area of this whole triangle would be its base, s, times its height, s minus 4, all divided by 2. But we know that area is also equal to the sum of triangles AEG and ABG. So that is 10 square unit plus A, which represents the area of triangle ABG. Now, we can do the same for triangle ABF now. Now, triangle ABF also has the side length of our square as its base, but its height is also the side length, as we can see here. So the area of triangle ABF would be S squared divided by 2, but that is also equal to the areas of triangle BFG, which is 30 square units, and plus the area of triangle ABG, which we denoted as A. So now we have built a system of equations. So we have our first equation here, and we have our second equation here, where S represents the side length of our square, and A represents the area of triangle ABG. Now, since we want to find the side length of our square, what I'll do here is I'll isolate A for both our equations. So this, we'll do a little algebra, s squared divided by 2, s times minus 4 divided by 2 minus 2s. And then what I'll do, I'll move the 10 to the other side, so minus 10. So for our first equation, s is, uh, excuse me, for our first equation, a is equal to s squared divided by 2 minus 2s minus 10. For our second equation, a would be s squared on 2 minus 30. So now that we have isolated A in both our equations, what we can do is we can set them both equal to each other and solve for S. So we have our first part right here equal to the second part. Now what happens is our S squares will cancel. What I can do, I'll move the, this 2S to the other side so it becomes positive. I'll move my minus 30 to the other side, it becomes positive as well and we'll get 20 equals to 2s, or s equals to 10. And that is the side length of our square. 
and the area of our square will be 100 square units. And with that, we have answered the question. Now, if we really wanted to, we could verify our answer by finding the areas of all these white parts here. We're not going to do that, but we can quickly find the area of, let's say, triangle ABG. So the tri area of triangle ABG, what we can do, we'll use this equation. It's simpler. So S squared divided by 2 minus 30 equals A. So 100 divided by 2, 50 minus 30 equals to 20. So, for example, that would be the area of ABG, and then we could find the areas of this part and this part to verify our answer. Uh, we won't be doing that right here, right now, but that's a fun little exercise if you guys wanted to do that. Uh, but with that, I think I'll finish the video. Thank you, and Matthew teach you math.